Witness me! Witness it. Bar's very cold. I beat my foes to death with it. The you witness? must simply have a death wish. I don't really grant wishes, but you caught me while I'm granting shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that from some anime? That's a... That is an art class hero rhyme. Oh. When I was, like, last year and I was working on his tape? Yeah. Year before? Yeah, yeah. You, you were there. We were, at, we were at the Republic of Pi. Oh, yeah, that place. Yeah. Uh, if you're ever in L.A. and you want to see some, like, whatever is open mic. Yeah. You know? L.A. is the place to go for if whatever. You wanna <laughs> see, if you want to see some young, hopeful, uh, what's that band I hate? Uh, uh, Coldplay. Oh. Uh, Cold play light Coldplay covers. Yeah. Look at the stars. Look at the stream. Look at how those bits move for you. Yep. And everything on? you do. Oh. Yeah. Oh, dude, what is this? Are you just like daydreaming? Yeah. Because I ended the so last time. Last last time on the witness, we were we were looking at the sky like last time on contemplating the life. Oh. You know. That's a pretty good game. It's a game just about daydreaming. Kind of, yeah. The game is about just kind of looking at the world. Yeah, man. You know? The game about Nightbot. Props to Nightbot for, for, for keeping, the stream, keeping the stream alive. It's a game about Nightbot. Do you hear that? Dude, yes. That's, that's, what, that's what this game needs. It's the sound. It's the sound of my farm. Does, does this game, like, Keep you in, like you're kind of. It's like a constant uh, state of like, do the thing, get the thing. Well, I mean, just like constant monologue, right? Like, is there silent? Like in Minecraft, you know, there's like the monologue trigger, right? Oh yeah, where the, the, the music the plays, and you're like, you know, today I really learned. I learned a lot about potatoes and carrots and how hard it is to grow them. But you know, the greatest crop of all of all. It's probably friendship. <laughs> it's probably friend. You know, friendship grows in any climate, any season. All it takes is nurturing. All it takes is a little agreement. Hey, it's the stream. Thanks, uh, latest follower, Jetty Chan. I was just thinking about, uh... Jackie Chan? About Jackie Chan. And, uh, the new, the new horrorcore anime, which is really, like, slice of life, you know? But it's about everybody's really a body part. Like, you know, there's like the shows where like where all the girls are really like battleships or guns or whatever. <laughs> which is weird in and of itself. But I think like there it's like all it's all it's all gonna be old people and all the old people are actually different body parts. Like um I don't know, like Appendix Son. Appendix Son. Like <laughs> Ear Chan. It's called Nobody Loves Ear Chan. Um <laughs> I have a really la like, you know, good looking. It's, it's looking good. You know, we're in talks with uh, Aniplex. Anyway, welcome back from my daydream. Oh, oh, dude, what's that? is that? Your hand? Oh, I've become stone. Oh, I have become the witness. <laughs> <laughs> I have become the witness. Uh, we we ended our we ended our walk the other day. Um, here, on wi in Witness Witness Mountain. It's very. I like how. Um, yeah. What was that hand? Was that your hand? No, ah, this is like a that... giant woman statue. Oh, okay, okay. It's like body horror. Yeah. Oh, you're like on her head. Yeah. Oh, you can see like the rebar that they used to make, you know, to support the concrete. There's a, there's a pretty good story, you know, happening here. What's the story? Um, a bunch of, you know, like a, a relatively like successful indie game developer made a studio for psychopaths and they came up with this island um, that was full of puzzles that were very esoteric. And um, then that, that this game is based off that island. Hmm, it sounds very almost autobiogra or biographical. Yeah. autobiographical of a certain developer. Yeah, no, you're right. Holy crap, it's so steep. We need that. We need that starter music though, for sure. I I like the uh the diffusion on everything. Yeah. You know, it's all dreamy. Everything is. 
I like to think in The Witness that you're actually, like, a ghost, you know? Like, like Bruce Willis? Yeah, like, you have a shadow, right? Like, well, you know, but only, like, creepy children can see you. Oh, I, so that is that guy witnessing? I think that's the prospector. <laughs> it's a different game. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This looks like a Bioshock or something. Yeah. Like they're in Colombia. This is like after the Metroid Whoa, like, takes what over. What happened? Is that guy like strangling that guy or are they just messing around? He's like, <laughs> look at this. Laffy Taffy. Well, this is like when you try to help somebody, like, hey man, don't trip over that cable. I'll get that for and you. And then you end up strangling them with it? It turns out that you were the one in danger the whole time. Turns out that you were the murderer. And this guy is giving a speech, right? Yeah. Or like maybe, uh... Hey, throw me something. Throw me throw me the keys. <laughs> I got this. Yeah, Yo, no, no, don't worry. I'll move your car. Just throw me your keys. It's cool. You got that box. There's something going on here. And that guy is like... Uh, that guy's like, I will break the chains of capitalism. I will bring down the machine. What's the sequel to Atlas Shrugged called? Uh, Atlas Shrugged 2, The Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Two Atlas, two Shrugged. <laughs> two Atlas, two Shrugged. <laughs> I, I wanted to not laugh at that <laughs> in order for it to keep its, its purity. Look, this guy's like drunk or on drugs. This is how you know that you've had too much internet. You got a chisel in one hand and a laptop in the other. <laughs> like, like that is not how down one day works, the man. proletariat will rise up. <laughs> we all stood for something. War never changes. Like why aren't there caption videos or like why aren't there captions of all of these sequences? I bet you can do like a really good comic using just assets from the witness. Just yeah. You know. This, it's like it'd be like oh, a it'd be like a book. Gary's mod comic, yeah. And you're just gonna let them put up these octagons? Look at They're this hexagons, Mary. Yeah. <laughs> I distinctly remember the order being for pentagons. <laughs> what do you think this is? Some kind of joke? Like, there's no way all of these things could have happened at the same time. The sound that you're hearing is uh, the sound of Discord ringing along. Okay. Am I going into the dungeon? No. So yeah, as the ticker suggests, I did watch a documentary about this game yesterday. Um, because I'm very curious about... I'm curious about Jonathan Blow. I'm curious about what the heck, like, the guy's making a programming language and... Wait, he's writing his own programming he's language? A programming language, yeah. It's called Jai. J-A-I. Huh. Uh, I think, or that's the name of a rapper I'm working with, well, or my aunt. Um, good for him. Yeah, and you know, it, 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 he, he aims to address the shortcomings of C++ uh, with a programming language that is kind of built for... For Jonathan Blow? Basically. Well, you know, just built, built for doing game stuff. What's his, what's his beef with C++? I think it's just like, you know, it's a love-hate thing. Like, the more familiar you are with something, the more resent you have for it. You know? Honestly, I think it comes down to that. Like, he's just been working with C++ for so long. He was like, you know, this... This could be really way better. And I think instead of getting in the... You know, maybe it's like a healthy thing, right? Like, instead of getting in the battle of, like, you know, what, what, what version of C++ is better? Because there are, like, 20 different versions of that language out there, right? Right. Um, like, he's just like, you know what, I'm just going to make my own thing, you know? And I respect that. I respect that. Um. Oh, motherfucking store is closed on Wednesdays. God damn you bastards. I mean, like, that's a, it's a difficult, it's a difficult thing to, like, you know, to, I, I think, find, like, work in or whatever. Let me just tell you, dude. What? If you've never spent fall... In Stardew Valley, you're missing out. I mean, your testimony has made me ultimately decide to actually buy it. I was gonna just avoid it altogether. What the hell is that? The most beautiful experience we can have is the mysterious. Oh. 
it is the fundamental emotion that stands at the cradle of true art and true science. Whoever does not know it and can no longer wonder, no longer marvel, is as good as dead and his eyes are dimmed. It was the experience of mystery, even if mixed with fear, that engendered religion. A knowledge of the existence of something we cannot penetrate, our perceptions of the profoundest reason and the most radiant beauty, which only in their most primitive forms are accessible to our minds. It is this knowledge and this emotion that constitute true religiosity. In religiosity. This, and in this alone, good word. I am a deeply religious man. I cannot conceive of a God who rewards and punishes his creatures, or as a will of the kind that we experience in ourselves. Neither can I nor would I want to conceive of an individual that survives his physical death. Let feeble souls from fear or absurd egoism cherish such thoughts. I am satisfied with the mystery of the eternity of life and with the awareness and a glimpse of the marvelous structure of the existing world, together with the devoted striving to comprehend a portion, be it ever so tiny, oh. of the reason Memorize that, that color pattern in nature. It's definitely Albert something Einstein, about oh, 1931. Okay. I, it's um. Is that isn't that like a like a like a like a condition like uh like uh what am I looking for here? There's a word about. Um, magnum opus, right? Like mm -hmm. it's like a magnum opus syndrome, in a way. Oh, interesting. I feel like, like some sort of megalomania. I I think that that's I th like people who interpret this guy's work like for what it appears as. You know, I I think that game designers are always trying to do something and rarely succeed, and. For each of this guy's project, like, you know, and I think anybody for that matter, for them to be, like, worth working on, the thing that you're trying to get from it or express through it might be that, 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 this, this mega, this, like, magnum opus kind of thing. Every game is going to be the last game that I do that's like this. It kind of stands on its own. Oh, I like, guess that's, like, yeah, that's like the, uh, that's like that story of Final Fantasy, right? You mean like how it's never the Final Fantasy? Well, no, it was called Final Fantasy because I think they were gonna shut down the studio after they made that game. Oh. Uh, I mean, that might not, that may or may not be true, but that's like how the story goes. Is it ironic then to like have a fifteenth and seventeenth iteration of that game? Yeah, that 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 became the thing for them. Yeah. But it also makes sense, right? Because if it's the last game you're ever gonna get to make, you're like, well, let's let's make it our, f let's make it our final fantasy. Hmm. But what's true about this that isn't true about that? Also, I was playing with a controller before. I found that to be a bit more pleasant. I'm sure there's like some sort of school somewhere, like the school of Super Meat Boy, that's like, ah, games should not be played with a mouse and keyboard. Yeah. But also, mouse and keyboard just makes me kind of depressed, you know? I don't know. I, it depends on the game, you know? Yeah. Overwatch? Good with a mouse and keyboard. That's fair, that's fair. But it's like, you know, there's a lot of, there are a lot of, there are a lot of, uh, that is better. But you know, most of like, you a lot, know. A lot of my life is, is masked and keyboarded though, you know what I mean? Like MIDI controllers are a pretty nice relief from that. Okay, so I need to stay like away from this guy by one square. That seems to be like a rule. Um, echoes of discord relieving itself is a thing that you do. How do I run? What is, where is the run button? Here we go. Now we're thinking with 
difference. Now we're cooking with portals. I just don't have the patience really to, to do the walk, you know? Do do do. Yo, are you are you going to? So have you have you witnessed anything? I mean, yeah. You know, there's this nice little like tour around the whole nice little facility, beach, right? You can like shimmy all the way over to the submarine gesture. Oh, it's like a little uh, fish shape, boat shape. You know, you can get like the Jesus fish to rescue you. Oh man, Jesus fish. And so, like, once that's done, then Jesus fish appears, right? Jesus was the fisher of men. Now look at us. Now with more Jesus. Right, so I oh, and then the, you get a boat. Yeah, and I can, like, take the boat all the way to, That's you know, dope. To, Saskatchewan. like, Liberty City or something? Yeah, and go visit, like, Nathan Drake or something. Um, that's cool. So there are, like, different areas. Um, you know, that's neat. I'm into that. I can kind of pull off this puzzle. But I like where the game is going. Is there, a, is there like a good cover system? Yeah. Are there a lot of quick time events in this game? Dude, there's this, there's this section where puzzles are just getting like closed off left and right. Is there like, is there, is there a cutscene where he like, you know, where you learn that you're like a divorced dad whose kids hate him or something? And your ex-lover is like some super hot brown chick? Whoa. Um. Because, like, you want something that your parents didn't have, right? Yeah. Which is, like, an inter interracial, almost like cultural life. And some kind of treasure. Some kind of lost ancient treasure. Which somehow you're the only one who can get, you know? Well, I mean, but the treasure was friendship the whole time. Yeah, the, you learn, that's what you learn in the end. <laughs> was that the real treasure was friendship. Your your spunky team of uh, misfits. Explorer story, like your friend who's really smart but like cries all the time, who <laughs> discovers like bravery by the end of the story. <laughs> Maybe like you know, confront your personal demons and like yeah. Oh, and then, like, have a romance with, like, a weird cat girl. That's the best kind of weird romance. Can confirm. Meanwhile, in Stardew Valley... Dude, do you have a mayonnaise factory yet? I do. I got a mayonnaise factory. So That's great. How do you know, like... Wow. It's, it's just, it's so, it's, it's just so heavenly. Like, you know, this, this, this inability to reach our, our height, right? This, this guy's goal, right? You know? In the game? Or just in real life? I'll check this out. I mean, like, this game is mostly about this type of, like, you know, silhouette art type of stuff, right? Oh, okay. So, like, his, you know, he's, he's, he's unable to reach, like, this, this The glass goal, of wine? Right? But that's also his triumph. Like the projection of that is like him going like, "Oh, interesting." Yeah. He's like, "Yeah, I got the thing." You know, and we can have like a long discussion about that, right? See, I'd be like, like people like to suffer. I I'd mean, be like, "Dude, you of. could you could get the wine if you just fucking stood up." <laughs> why? Why so? Why so? You know, this is what happens when you get stoned. You know, I'd you be stop like, caring. I'd be like, "Come on, come on, Holden Caulfield, just stand the fuck up, get the wine." <laughs> Don't quit being so dramatic, man. Yeah, it's not such a big deal. You know, we're gonna get through this. Hey, look, another Ooh, audio. what is log. that? Is so it this a pager? Is like the, this is like the... Is it a Zippo? Oh, Lord God. It's the one button, like, it's like a I see Dreamcast, like, in the garden uh... Oh, it's like a VMU? VMU, yeah. I do not know what I that see records voices? Because I see nothing visible. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. I know this I deleted alone, your Tamagotchi, dude. But I know that I do not know <laughs> It was, like, covered in shit anyway. I hear they're bringing it back for the 20th anniversary. Really? Shameless plug. Should anyone I, uh, I went, when I went back to my, uh, my parents' house, I found my old one. First generation. Nice. Original article. Original, yeah. 
I don't know if it works. So I didn't. It didn't have batteries in it, and I, you know, put any batteries. Conceived. I know that this concept is not a concept of you, for every concept finds its boundary at the wall of paradise. Should anyone express any likeness and say that you ought to be conceived according to it, I know in the same. I wonder if he thought about get trying to get Werner Herzog to do the narration for this. So too, if anyone I would wishing be so to great. furnish the means by which you might be understood, uh, the, should set forth. This guy tends to be too optimistic. One what the uh, the yeah. narrator? The the, the for the, the orator here separates you from all. This kind of and secludes you from you know, everything that can be said or thought, because you are absolute from all the things that the other happen. the other good narrator would be like tony robbins that'd be scary too nicholas of cusa 1453 just trying to get those you know those those out of out of copyright quotes you know who uh who is the uh hmm. so is the narrator the, the the maniacal game designer no i just made up the story of the game which is loosely based on what i learned about its creation where they pretty much like almost like went broke from all of the they almost spent all of the braid money on sticking around on, on conceptualizing this oh really yeah like it took i think what I want to say like 50 years, it took a while to, to like finish this project. Oh, interesting. But I would say it was largely worth it. I think it definitely, I think it achieves a certain goal of like, you know, you're not, you're not going to want to do that again, right? Like you're not going to, it, you know, it, it, it does, it does with the art what the art needs I I don't know if it will if it will think about think about games these days and like I think physical media and our digital media has like a large part to do with this is like unless you're like m maintaining that thing yourself you're gonna have a hard time like making sure that people can use it you know in the after the death of a platform like like a like Facebook games, right? Or like Flash itself. Yeah. Like if Facebook goes under, then all of those games, whether they're shit or not, disappear. I guess that's true. But I mean, like, you know, I mean, a lot of stuff is probably not worth playing again, right? That's true. And who determines that, right? Like, it's like books. Like, there are tons of books. I'd well, say but it's books don't like. To get I mean, but books public. don't really like, you know. You can still read a book from, right? You know, the platform is. It's the, not like the the platform is just written language, right? Yeah. But I guess in in a way, it's like you you know, you're gonna have a hard time reading like Gilgamesh in like the ancient Sumerian, right? Because the so somebody had to port like it. The language, right? Yeah. And like no one's like really really dancing with like Assyrian anymore. Like they don't really speak that language. Yeah, I guess that's true. Okay, today is the day I upgrade my backpack. You're gonna do it. Who is the other voice? Tomiki, how's it going? My favorite company went live. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, the other voice is Aaron. Uh, Umatani is the master of Stardew Valley at the moment. Got into gotten gotten a little too deep into a game that I've been avoiding for that exact reason. You know, I'm the one that looks over the edge, and he's the guy that takes the fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's real, real dramatic. Thanks, man. Sorry, this 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 game just pulls that out of me. When you stare into the abyss. How is everyone today? Is that the Wild Jake? No, the Wild Jake and Ravi are adventuring um, on some kind of adventure down south, deep down south. Dirty south. Trip. They need to. They need to spend time together. They need to hang out. 
they need to they need to get you know like trapped in like a elevator together or something like that oh is it that episode of the sitcom right where it's like good luck man <laughs> every time every time i say that i think about this is cool Bonk. You've been bonk. Bonk. Is that like a Windows sound? I don't know. I have to follow the rules of the knob, you know? But see, the tree is in the way. It's blocking my line. Can you believe it? Can you believe it, Danny? This, this tree, it's blocking my line. Hello, Irene or Eren or however you spell your name because there are like 50 spellings of it. Hey, Tomiki, how you doing? Have you fa have you fashioned yourself a reasonable sandwich of 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 late of today? I only find myself to be to be part man, part sandwich. Maybe I can use this tree to block the lines. Bonk. Dude, that's like totally like a window sound. Sound designer kind of got fired. Sound designer was like, "Yo, so let's let's uh, let's just use the Windows 95 uh, alert. Nobody will know." We opted for more frames and fewer pixels. I would say that is probably not a great exchange. <sighs> Whether this puzzle is solvable or not, what the crap? Look, there's somebody in that. Oh, maybe that's the answer. Whoa, is that? Well, it's, I don't know, it's like a sunburn? It looks like somebody in like a bikini, I guess. Oh no, it's a dude playing a, a horn. Oh yeah. I thought it was a guy like... Oh, it's not even a... Like, the look at the foot. It's like a monster... F oh no, it's never mind. They're, they're like standing on something. Or do they have monster feet? Are those like talons? See, look at the foot, yeah, right? Yeah, it's like, a harpy. You know? Harpy, like, smoking a pipe. And a golden bird or something? Yeah, I don't know, dog. You know, you have to you have to see the harpy. All I know is I just harvested a pumpkin. So if I'm standing here, does that mean that I have enough enough Bonk. whatever to whatever the whatever? Oh, I guess because I can get around both gods. Ah, Whoa, what was that? That was a solution. I had a barbecue lunch. That's good. I tend to agree. Holy crap! It's opening this. Oh, really it's a garage door. Nice. All right. Oh, dude, is the harpy syrup? Yeah, sure. The harpy was always there. You just have to believe in <laughs> the harpy inside. The harpy was always inside of you. Oh gosh. Okay, so that's cool. I wonder if the aim is to. to I don't you know. That's the other thing is just. This game makes me realize how, like, nat I wouldn't even say naturally, but just the default goal-oriented nature of people, right? Like, what's the point, right? Or, you know, what did that do? What did that do? I don't know, it was what fun. Is my, what is my effect on the world? I guess that's why people like games, right? Because you feel like you have an effect on the world when most of us really don't, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. I couldn't but agree more. you could feel like, like the universe hinges on your participation, you know, on your participation. Yeah. Uh, and in a way, I don't know that that's like such a good thing. I just, I, you know, the more I, the more I hear about it, the more I feel that's like actually a pretty American thing, like self-centered to the point to like a fault, right? Do you think that's why? Like that's the American dream is like my like I got mine it's all good, I I beat the game right. Oh well, I was talking about like just like a sense of like sort of self importance, you know. Sure. Like the way you know, like when you go on the internet and everybody's opinion matters, you know. Mm. Is it because it's there, like etched in data? Like everybody's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I think about this thing.
Like, maybe there's a way to do this where the leaves don't screw with my life. But the environmental context, you know, that's cool. That must be a fun thing to program too. Like, are you standing in the right spot? I don't see really clearly any kind of like way about that. You know? But I also like that I don't have to. You know, I can just like slowly slowly acquire like poor posture and uh repeated stress injuries like at any point in the game. It's uh it's the American dream. <laughs> The, it's it's American classic American way. Chat, I want to know what you think about the American dream, and if you're not American, I want to know even more. Yeah, that's that's yeah. Because that's pretty that's pretty interesting. My American dream is where like I forgot I had a test, and then I go to school <laughs> and I'm trying to take it, and my teeth keep falling out, and then I realize that I'm naked, and everybody else in the class is naked too. But they only seem to notice your nakedness. Yeah, and that's because I notice my nakedness. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's a pretty good dream. <laughs> I like the teeth falling out part. That's this like a cool. that's a classic anxiety dream. Yeah, man. I've had many of those. And there's nothing like that that relieves the no, no relief is quite as good as waking up with teeth. <laughs> <laughs> like your brain conditioning you to go like, nah, it's cool, I'm just fucking with you. It's but cool. yeah, fix that other thing that you're worried about, asshole. Like, there's a mechanism there, right? Oh, maybe that's why my sister called me. Maybe she wants to be back on the radio show to talk about dreams. About dreams? Like oh. The dreams that we left in this fireplace. The dreams that we left to die? Oh yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to chop some wood. This game definitely is pretty. I do think it's cool too. It's just peaceful. Yeah. I just, like, it, it just, I, I have that completionist streak. Like, that's why I'm not really buying no, no, no Switch games, except for maybe, like, Golf Story. I feel like... That's all about. It would be kind of interesting to do a game that, like... Where they just didn't have a goal. Like, you think there's a goal, but then in the end you realize it, it didn't really matter. And the you, goal is really friendship. The whole yeah. Time. Well, the goal, just like, finishing the game just didn't matter. I feel like that would really upset people. What? It'd be like the end of Mario 2 where you realize it was all just a dream. My American dream, according to Tomoki, is going downstairs and eating breakfast because I have t trouble eating in the morning. It's a good dream. It's right? a pretty good dream. That that is to, you can you can achieve your dreams. Like I'm pretty sure this prompt means Wait, is, is Tamaki point? American? Tamaki is American, yeah. Tamaki is uh, out there on the East Coast. Maybe dreams really will come true. Or Mario 3, where you realize the whole thing was just a stage play. This is a good point. Yeah, that's a, that is also a good point. So really, the only actual adventures Mario ever went on was like Mario 1, I guess, up until that point. And the rest were just him like reliving his glory days. <laughs> right, remember that time? Hey, Luigi. Luigi, Luigi remember that time? Man. We went on that adventure. We, like, we saved, saved the princess. The, oh my god, it was oh, so man. cool, right? And then you Sweet. did that thing with the, whatever, oh, like man. there were shells and stuff. Oh man, those are <laughs> great times. Remember we ate the mushrooms, we got big. Yeah, that was great, man, right? I want to ring this bell. But I can't because that's not what this game is about. Maybe I can make a path along this wall starting from this hole oh but I I am lead blocked all right that's cool I'm just gonna adjust my perspective but I don't have enough of a, enough enough advantage I have an advantage I can't quite see the whole structure oh maybe I can maybe maybe I can like, oh look, it's letting me go. 
Oh, this is so liberating. Oh. Wow. Oh, I thought that was a river. It is a river. Oh, it is a river. Of magic. Believe. <laughs> Holy crap. I believe. I've awakened the spirit. Mario Galaxy, when you realize that you're actually a plumber in space. <laughs> wasn't, <laughs> wasn't there, um... Wasn't there, isn't there some sort of mess about, like, Mario is no longer a plumber? Like, he's graduated to, like, he's like a, like, maybe he teaches younger plumbers how to, you know what I mean? The oh, he's like plumber. a, he's like a, he's like a plumbing professor? Oh, maybe. I'm gonna teach you about these pipes. Remember that time Mario was a mobster? When was that? Okay, so, oh wait, here it is, here it is. Oh, so look, there's like this little monolith thingy, right? And it's kind of hidden here, but there are all of these squiggles all over the island. Remember the monolith thingy. Remember the monolith. Oh, he's a retired plumber. Okay, okay. That's the deal. Oh, is it going to be like Metal Gear where it's like old Mario? He's a porn star. He turns up. That was like Ron to Jeremy. People's drains for them. Super horny o brothers. <laughs> That's the name of the movie. Oh, dude! I think I saw that porn. It was with um, Captain Lou Albano. What? <laughs> 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 um. Yeah. So Paldos, or how do I help me pronounce your name? Pal Paldo 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 Paldo. Um. So I, <laughs> this is uh, this is the witness. It is the second in the Jonathan Blow trilogy. Wait, what's uh, the third one in I'm the just, Jonathan Blow trilogy? I'm just kidding. I'm, it's, it's, oh. it's a joke about how long it takes him to make games. Um, because this took a long time to come out. Um, considering that the witness came out seven years after Braid came out, or longer. Um, P. Aldous, Phil. Hi. All dust. All all dust all the time. Like Aldous Huxley? Yes. So, pointing out the ugly part of this tree, or the asymmetrical part, is probably not the answer. Trying to nail the Hey, don't you have to go to the, the apple? Answer. What? There's an apple. See, there's an oh, apple shit. in the tree? Just go to the apple. Good idea. Right? That's what, you know. Nope. That's what, that's what... Nice. I didn't even notice that. Hey, herbivore brain. You should make a song about how to say your name. That's a good idea. Oh, and I've never messed up Tomaki's name ever since. Um, probably the best song that Tomaki's ever written, honestly. What was it? Uh, gosh, I should bring up the video. Can I get a hot link to that, Tomaki? It's pretty was funny. it about something that like rhymes with? I just like don't say it like Tomaki. this, say oh. it like that, la la la. Well, that's you know, like that's that's a good way to learn things is like to put it into a song. Do that, because uh, you know more of your faculties are forced to remember. Is that know? why like mnemonics are so powerful. Yeah, well, and also like even even in uh, like cultures ah. that had no uh, no written language, you know, like they have all sorts of like songs and things to remember things. Okay. Okay. Right. A lot of actually, a lot of ancient cultures. Makes uh -huh. a lot of sense. That's probably why music is a wider spread language than um, like math, right? Well, music. I'm. I don't know. If if I were a betting man, I would oh. say that music predates written language. Probably by quite a bit. <laughs> so this is a game. Um, this is a game about the world of puzzles. About a puzzle world. And morning, cook breakfast. Got to solve it. Have to use the bathroom. What I find kind of weird about it though is like I've been running into a lot of areas in this game where like I'll walk up to a panel and try a few times, and then it just like shuts me down. Like you know what? You're not gonna get this. Oh, hang on. Is that your phone? Yeah, it's probably spam. That's like a really pleasant ringtone, I guess. I 
I should make a better version with non-garbage voice. Hey, you know, you should use a uh, Vocaloid, I think. That would be cool. I saw a Half-Life 2 mod where they replaced uh, Alex with uh, Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku. It was pretty funny. I didn't know that that counted though for a world record run, but whatever. What's in this hole? I love reverb voice. Um, I mean, I could like turn up the feedback on this monitor and we can have fake reverb voice. I just want to really just, this, this is a game about walking the world and looking at, looking at things in a particular way. Like these lines don't connect until I walk up to a certain point where maybe they will. Maybe they won't. There are lines on the top and lines on the bottom. I don't know. It's like brakes, you know? They're on a bus and on a car. Although, look, this thing's glowing, right? Like in the sun? For real. So I guess I could maybe, like. Yeah! Right? Oh, yeah! Real. So oh, like dude, it's like the moon. It's back. There. And then there's also this thing, right? So, like, that thing lights up, and I kind of, like. Like this panel, maybe, or like that light. Oh, maybe there's more. Let's like step it back a little bit. Is there like a panel over here that I can like? I think there was something when you first came in, right? Because I can't like, unless it looks like if it's lit up, I can totally make use of it. See that thing down there? This guy? Yeah. Don't you probably connect that to something? Maybe you have to go into the building. Oh, maybe. Oh, look at those steps, dude. Oh, there's a nice cloud. Let's see that. You step, step in the name of love. I'm gonna step the whole night through. Any fans of R. Kelly in the audience? <laughs> <laughs> Just asking for a friend. Oh, so I saw a cool thing about how these puzzles work too. That's the thing about this doc is it like ruined a whole bunch of puzzles for me. Oh, they should have had a spoiler alert. Yeah. But also, like, the main puzzles in the game, like, what this game's actually made out of, it's not, it's actually, like, not that, that crazy. Uh, this would appear to be the first puzzle of a series. But I can't. It looks like a off. Dharma wheel. I know there's a jump button, you know, but that's, like, not a thing you need. I feel like Jonathan Blow is too dignified to, uh, Put jumping. Put in jumping in a game. Ah, that's possible. So Tomaki is a fan of R. Kelly, which is good. Step in the name of love. Everybody's group. That looks like a corn dog. It's a twink. Of power. I've actually never been here. Oh, I see. Okay, so oh, there's the sun. There's the sun. And then there's like a little if sunspot. Me, wow, what the. Oh, and whoa! Don't Water and boats. Oh, it's like a dude. He's like, hey, bro. He's like one of those robots <laughs> from Castle in the Sky. <laughs> <laughs> I got your nose. <laughs> if they ask us why we did it, all right. Oh, so are you just shuffling up there? I think what I need to do every day, man. Um, but I think, I, well, it says here, there's a boat. And I can go get the boat and maybe cruise over by this zone. It's a different looking boat, though. Your boat was like, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, my boat looked like a submarine. Kind yeah. Of. That looks like a, one of those, like, I don't know, what you would imagine on the Nile or something. Back in the days of, like, like a, a dune. Two a dune dune common <laughs> or something. I don't know. Does this game have any music? I don't know. It could. It's got it's got an entire soundtrack by R. Kelly. Let's have a look at the settings. Uh field of view, nice. Uh no. Oh dude, you should turn your field of view way up and just play it play like a skate video. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. 
Oh, we should have subtitles on for the hearing impaired. Oh, uh, yeah. But unfortunately, there is not music for the hearing Interesting. impaired. Interesting. I just like a slightly wider... Oh, you should make it real wide, wide dude. Like... <laughs> hundred and... Twenty degrees of... of fav. Yeah. I feel like Jonathan blows the sort oh, of that dude... Looks terrible. Who, All right. ...who would be like, we're not going too crazy, but, you know... Like, he's like, he wouldn't limit it to 180 degrees. <laughs> Seems like a pretty standard thing. The music is the footsteps. The music is the, is the, is the conversation that we have the about the game. The music was always in you. Turns out that friendship <laughs> is the best Friendship music. is the best music of them all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to, I don't know. But it's, you know, it's the game. Hey, what if what if you? What's your Ooh. narrowest field of view? That's like sixty. Like sixty? Yeah. I mean, I think that would look better, because the game's got this kind of flat style. So if we took it down, take it down, take it all the way. What's up with this menu screen anyway? Eighty. I'm disappointed. Yeah, that looks like. A there you photo. go. Oh yeah. This is like weird. Like another. <laughs> I like to I like to to make jokes in the form of like essay questions, um, and another good name for this game would be worst vacation ever. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this would be a pretty sweet vacation, dude. Like, cause I would just be like taking pictures, and uh, I guess it would be kind of sucky because it looks like there isn't a whole lot to eat, right? You'd be and like, like, man, this is the worst vacation. All we had to eat were like rocks. Like everybody is stoned except for you. Oh right? uh, yeah. Well, like, I don't know. Yeah, but this is well. I feel like this would be like a good island to do mushrooms on, you know? Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah. You get like a weird medikit, but like all of the band-aids are actually like patches of LSD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like scrape your knee and then trip out for 12 hours. <laughs> that was weird. I, just, I need to put a band-aid on. Oh, boy. <laughs> Make you think twice about taking injuries. So oh, dude, do another. you leave footsteps in the sand? I said, no, you don't. You're no? just the witness. You're like the ghost that, like, oh, like when when there were only one set of footsteps in the sand, it's <laughs> it's because Jesus like was the witness, right? Maybe this is a game about like Jehovah's Witness, you know, and like <laughs> <laughs> you kind of go around and like outline a bunch of things that are wrong with society, but ultimately all you're doing is just highlighting these problems. You're not really doing anything, you know. Oh, but you is, are. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. I'm bringing attention to them. Do you, can you fall off and die? Can you drown in this game? No. Uh, oh, look. Here's like another circle. That looks like the beginning of a puzzle. Uh, See, now I'm just attracted I mean, Is there a mine cart or something? Oh, dude. Maybe there's food in that building. <laughs> you know, Let's go. You know what you should do? They could eat pickle ricks. You could, you could just plant some berries, you right. know, near the forest. And like you know, make a little, a little preserve maker. I would definitely want to run, want to run this 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 train thing over here. Like, oh, I've got the power. Duh, duh. All right, oh, look, there's a little pallet over there. You could ship your goods out. I think you have to stand in such a way that this appears to not be broken. Oh, so you can't, you can't fall off of stuff in this game. Nah, uh, you can't hurt yourself at all. Which is like. I mean that's good, you know. I I don't know that I want a hurt yourself simulator. Yeah, you know what I mean, like the self self harm simulator. You know that kind of makes me want to clean up those branches. I'm like, oh, what a mess. <laughs> the old branch factory is a little bit out of control. Oh hey, there's a hey, solution. Here's the, here's the thing. I've seen this puzzle before. Can you take that with you? Nah. You can only, like, touch it. Like, oh, no. It, and it's like, don't you get it? It's is like that, you is idiot. that, like, an angle pointing to, like, the corner that I need to... Nope. Oh, triangle, what if it's the man. other one? the To the upper left corner? Oh, the solution... Like, the goal is there. Oh, the goal is there? Right. The goal... Like, this is the starting point, and then, like, that's the ending thing -o. But is it like, do I want to avoid that thing altogether? Right? Like, that That works. Okay, cool. Oh, what did you do? I don't know. Did right? you? Oh, so it's solved. I think it means maybe only make one turn. 
If you can't give the girl you want, just give him pickles and jams. Pickles and jams. Stardew Valley, I built a preserve making machine and then ran around handing out jams to women to try and make them fall in love with me. Oh. I haven't played Stardew Valley yet. Do you have any good Stardew Valley stories, dude? Yeah. It's, it, it's, uh. Like that time you, like, tried to, you know, uh, harvest all your broccoli, but then, like, you know, the rat, like, was using them as hats, so you had to, like, you had to stave them off with your razor, razor stick. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I pretty much play Stardew Valley the way I'm going to run a real farm. Word. Which is to say, like, I'm going to be, like, real invested in my farm. And then when I go into town, people will just sort of be an inconvenience for the most part. Ah. I'm like, why isn't your store open? Wait, get out of my way. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to talk to you. Look, I'm trying to, trying to make sure my bees are happy. Look, homeless man, I don't care if you're going through that guy's garbage. That's not my problem. <laughs> That's a, I, I think that's maybe the weakest part of the witness. Is what, is like that there's no homeless people? Well, is that you're not gonna... Like, you're either not gonna see... You're either the type of person that'll see all of it, and that, you know, type of person's kind of annoying, or, like, the type of person that'll be like, oh, I, I, yeah, I think I get what they're pointing at, you know. Uh, I get the point. Alright, that was fun. Like there isn't a, I don't think there's a middle ground. I don't think that you can take anything meaningful away, kind of, you know. Oh, like if you if you don't finish it, right, sort of thing. And part of that is the meditation. Yeah, I mean that seems legit, right? Like, because like I don't think any, I don't think any game developer. Well, that's not true. I was gonna say, but I don't think that you know. I feel like Jonathan Blow. He's like the sort of guy who's like. Well, yeah, to get the full experience, you have to finish playing it, you know? I, I don't know if he's forcing that on him. I mean, at least he claims not to, right? And in, in, in his... He, he, oh, really? His yeah. Because I feel like... I mean, there's certain games like... Like, Braid, I think, kind of forces it on you, right? But also, like, that's a way more concise experience. Well, you know, I mean, like, like Street Fighter, right? You don't have to finish it. In fact, you never really finish it. Right. And to really get the full experience, you know, like, you never... Well, you actually never really get the full experience because you can always do better, right? <laughs> Oh, dude, I can make a cheese press. Dude. So, Phil had a good idea here. What? Finn Potion should do a weekly Stardew Valley stream and name the animals after the audience. Oh, that is a good idea. We'll have, like, 700 chickens named Tomaki. It'll be great. <laughs> um, did I ever tell you about the time I came onto a stream and all I heard from Jake was, I mean, that's like hobo wine. <laughs> I was like, what is he talking about? Hobo wine? I think that's, is that like the... It's like Pruno? Is that like, yeah, we put like jams and jellies in the back of your toilet and then like let that ferment. Yeah, well they put, it's like you put like juice in like a trash bag or something, right? And then you let it ferment. Uh, it's like prison hooch. I oh, mean, as like, long as it gets you messed up, right? Anything to make prison better, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, it's like just so dark. It's so dark. But this game's too bright, you know, we gotta darken it up with some some body horror. Some gallows humor. Yeah, man. Look at those low poly trees. High concept, low poly. Perfect. I don't know if this is like I like this aesthetic and all. I don't think that Neuron would drive with this though. You know? Let's see. Oh, I, good thing I grew a pumpkin, because Caroline wants to buy a pumpkin from me for her daughter. Here's a puzzle. I've kind of given up on, like, the puzzle panels. I'm starting to think that that is not worth my time. That there's, that there's more to life, you know? There's more to life than puzzle panels? Yeah, puzzle panels are just like... There we go. Now I can... Cause these are, this is more interesting. And this has less to do with like, actual, you know. This has less to do with actually like, the technology, you know what I mean? Where the heck is that spirit of- Oh, okay, Caroline is a lady with green hair. Oh, what is that? I want wow, that. this is like a, is that like a- it's the sea. I think it's the water 
water water uh sea red. A rock? Oh. They're a clam? It's like the only other living thing on the island is this mollusk. Yeah. <laughs> this this <laughs> mollusk is my only friend. <laughs> His name is Nathaniel. All right. I think I went the wrong way. Oh shit. I need to buy I need to make some more coal. Or go mining, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Obviously. That's how it well. How am I not living by the rules? Don't break the rules, you can't win. Sugar. That's these panels have kind of scared me off though, a little bit, you know. Because the, those puzzles are going to go away. It's the puzzles in the world that are attached to these strange monoliths. Those are the ones that are permanent. Kinda. Though I remember there was something about like these weird beams of light. And, you know, you're never going to find all of the. You know, I, one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite things, uh, joke from the old from the old days, is you know you're you're you can't eat all the mint. You know, like when you leave. Uh, when you leave, uh, you know, like Sizzler or whatever, you know, and they have like the mints right there, right, just outside of, you know, just just at at where you pay your check at, you know. What? And have you tried to eat all the mints before? No, no, but like, it's 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 it's, it's not even like just the nice thing. It's like, wait, like like if you eat all the mints, you're a dick, or? Or it's like, not possible. Like, like, like you certainly can, but yeah, it's not like a it's not like a cool thing to do. Oh, like okay. No one's gonna stop you at like at at like Olive Garden or whatever from like standing there and grabbing like all of the all of the the pinwheel piggies, right? But like, you really can't. But you you shouldn't. It's not, dude. That's not cool. <laughs> that's oh, what's this? Knowledge is the key. Show me the door. I have the lock. <laughs> I can kind of get through here if I believe in myself. Like, what if you could just get through the world by, like, you know, kind of angling yourself a certain way and pointing at stuff? By what solving a series of puzzles. Uh, Doug and we are witnessing. We're talking about. We're talking about uh, the American Dream, and we're witnessing new areas of this game. Different colors. Right now we're in uh, pumpkin spice hills, because um, it's that time of the year, and we're looking for these strange uh, artifacts. Um, like there's, I don't know. I'm, I think this is like this. This branch kind of looks like a dress or something. So we're gonna like align ourselves with it just so we could witness it. You know, I think that's the point. Just, you know, like maybe it's like a person sitting. There's like a face or something. Oh, it's like one of those vase faces, right? You know, like maybe they're grabbing onto the sun or like, you know, blessing you know the child that has their own or something. Like uh, <laughs> Osiris. <laughs> uh, yeah. Shadow, a shadow. Is it a shadow puzzle? Oh gosh. But see, like, there's nothing to solve here. You just kind of have to witness it. <laughs> 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 like, did you, do you guys see this? It's a really nice projection of a maiden. But then, like, you go and you look, and it's just, like, hollow and kind of disturbing. You know? And there's, like... Well, it's like, it's like that art, you know, where they have, like, that pile of junk, but then you look at it and the spot... Dude, we can make such a oh, great comic at, out of this, though. It's like... Uh, I'd, Milady? <laughs> I I I brought you some Starbucks. But I'm such a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. All women want a beefy douchebag. Scream all the time. But what about me? I'm such a nice guy. Let's go to the cathedral. Oh man, I totally came into that lady's house and she was like, Did you wipe your boots off, asshole? Hey. And I was like, shit. You're right. Yeah, this is the this is totally that, Doug, and we're 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 dogging it all the way. 
We're just, you know, casually, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't see, like, a progress bar meter thing. There are a couple of those things around the way, like... Does this game have achievements? I think maybe if you play it for a thousand hours, you get an achievement, like, what the hell is your problem? Oh, really? I don't know if that's true. Um, but it's, like, a really good joke. Oh, if you play it for 10,000 hours, do you unlock the Malcolm Gladwell achievement? <laughs> what? What <laughs> that means? <laughs> that's uh he, Malcolm Gladwell had his theory of like if you do anything oh, right. for 10,000 hours you'll become an expert <laughs> <laughs> there's a puzzle counter if you pause if I recall okay uh, I, I see no such thing maybe there's another but I don't know um I definitely I, I just aim to there, there are a couple of different like there are a couple of different meters. There are like the there's some towers around that like mark the environmental puzzles that you've achieved, uh, achieved that you've witnessed. <laughs> that you have witnessed. Have you have you witnessed to your heart content the truth? Oh look, I'm witnessing this duel. Yield. Yield. Even the victor of the duel cannot bear to look the opponent in the eye. But I definitely just like, I like this game for the conversation. You know? I like to talk to chat. I like to talk to my buddy here. About his oh, farm. here's another puzzle. Yo. Looks like there's an exterior puzzle. Is that Caroline? Are you Caroline? Let me see. Followed by what appears to be an interior puzzle. Caroline. But I think I have, all I've done is merely activate this puzzle. Got your only half time. Like what is this? The sky rocking out over here. It's Bob Dylan. Oh no, wait. that's that's Paul McCartney. What you got? among men that I had known you. Oh really? They see your pictures in all works of mine. They come oh. and ask me, who is? Wait, where are those dots at? I know not how to answer them. I say, indeed, indeed I, cannot I cannot tell. Oh. They blame me, and they go away in scorn. And so, you sit there, smiling. Need to make a left at the at I the hill. I put my tales of you into lasting songs. And the secret gushes out from my where heart. Where is the entrance, though? Here it is. They come and ask me. So maybe tell make me a all right. Your meanings. I know not how to answer them. I say, ah, right there. Who knows what they mean? They smile and go away in utter scorn. Or not. Hmm. Uh, I think I need to do that initial right. Rabindranath Tagore, 19. You see. Oh, you know, what if you walked on the path to give yourself a feel for the path you should do on the puzzle? Well, I think the, you go the, left, you the, go left, you go right, you go left. The, the path is the puzzle, man. The medium is the message. Oh. Right? And. To that end, you know, what I'm trying to pin to memory as a solution really becomes self-evident. Oh, is it one of those self-evident truths? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's when I reload a game. All right. Did we do it? All right, we have turned the power on. Oh, look, and we have let in the guests. Ah, oh, here is Malcolm Gladwell himself. <laughs> oh, wait, nobody's been taken over by Agent Smith. It's like, Sick. oh, you're not allowed to come to our sword party. Ah, oh, crap, why not? You brought an umbrella. This is a sword party. Oh, she's like, taxi. Is there a taxi over there? I'll just call an Uber. So then I can. I don't have to activate this, although I seem to have done so already. I guess that's a reset function. Okay, cool. So, you know, uh, this one is a little bit easier. I think the right is on the white. The white is on the right side. Do we have to pass between the two colors or something? There are lines involved. Can I practice this puzzle? Is my mom watching? Alright. Is your mom watching? No, I think your mom only watches Game Grumps, right? Oh, yeah. It's Malcolm Malkwell. What? I don't know. This this joke is is quickly grown beyond my 
ability. I'm trying to figure out. So clearly that path can't be true. So I must go alright. Why, you know? I fear nothing. I'm water and Steve. Uh, I guess I was denied. Denied. And the other half got, got you. you coming up short. Hey. Wait, what? This, I thought you wanted silver ore, you. Wait. I wonder if, like, tastes change in Stardew Valley. I started in Stardew Valley, that's exactly what I meant to oh, say. Oh, I brought Where it to the like, wrong oh, dude. Man, you, you, you know, I really like that you keep bringing us, like, those, those, those honey, those honey, those honey straws. <laughs> but like, we love honey straws, dog. But, you know, uh, you can't just keep showing up to the farmer's market with just honey straws. Like, I get it. They come in 50 wacky flavors. You put a lot of love into them. Tabasco, that was unexpected. But... Maybe you're not ready for the farmer's guild. What is this? Oh, there's a sofa out here in the distance. I feel like I'm sitting down for real. The message. Broken glass everywhere. Look at this. This is totally welcoming. It's not particularly interactive, but, you know, such is life. Sometimes oh, the witness likes to witness things from uh from a <laughs> couch. <laughs> you, ever, you, know? you ever witness uh you ever witness uh after a a long, octopus in the sand? After a long day of witnessing, sometimes <laughs> I like to sit down and just veg out, you know? <laughs> Have you ever Oh goodness <laughs> It could be it could be an action sport. Just, uh, you know, witness that. I want I want to make a sparkle puss. That's what I want. What's a sparkle puss? I don't know. I, it, well, because I see... I witnessed an octopus in, in, the, in the sand. I wanted to be that octopus. Oh. I thought it was like... Is it like the time that you saw the tortoise in the desert? Oh, man. I should go see that. Is there more to this puzzle that I'm unaware of? Can I align myself with the ideals of the witness? The flavors are mint, barbecue, what? Rice, mousse, Tabasco, and tobacco. All important components. Those are the flavors of the witness? So far. We're working on a we're working on a, a brand profile for witness potion. Wacky these are no, these are the flavors of uh of the honey straws. Oh. I would like to modify this game so that maybe it would be a little bit less serious. But I think that just talking over it does that job. I do want to have like the Street Fighter announcer in sections of this game though. <laughs> in sections of K O <laughs> Continue? Nine, eight, seven. I think that'd be great. Six, five, four, three. Rusty, rusty ship zone. <laughs> <laughs> Witness. <laughs> You're like beat up an old like oil tanker. <laughs> <laughs> I just. There's so there's so much to witness. I would say that there's much more to this game than uh what is the other the other walking game? It was like the the were you on Proteus? the island? Proteus is pretty cool. I think Proteus has a lot of this magic in it. Uh Firewatch? I haven't played that. Heard that's pretty good. 
I spy a string. Um, maybe like this. Let's see, what, what kind of fuck? jelly should I make? You know, some people prefer jelly. I'll make some grape jelly. How long does it take to make your average jelly? I think it's like two days it cooked. Oh, that's not bad. That seems pretty realistic, you know? May the line be unbroken. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, like, my, you know, my actual frame of reference, uh, you know, is, like, going to be Stardew Valley, so it's kind of like, like, oh, I can totally make jam in two days. Um, let's see. It's banned in some states because it's too hot. I did try, uh, what is this? Margarita pizza today with Tabasco sauce. It's called a Bloody Mary pizza. That sounds pretty good. I had, uh, is it like, there's a video of me trying out, is it like, you know, angry Beth's, you know, extreme death sauce. I don't really know if that, that's not really the name of it, but like, it was pretty, it was pretty extreme. Actually, a lot, of, a lot of flavor too. I, I think be that's angry. important, you know. Yeah, I would. I'd be angry for like a sauce that just punished you. you know? Yeah, where they're like, let's just make it hot, and I'm like, oh, that's. I guess if you're like some stupid frat boy or something. This has pure capsaicin in it. I mean, at some point, wouldn't it be smarter to just like spray your mouth with like pepper spray, which is practically pure capsaicin? It's cheaper, right? I mean, it does have some flavor, too. Pepper spray? Yeah. Really? Oh. Yeah. I've never tried it. I don't know if you were there. Remember that one time, uh, that girl, you definitely were not there. Accidentally, her keychain pepper spray goes off in my apartment. Okay? Oh, jeez. And everybody had to evacuate the building. Oh, man. It was pretty painful. That's I'd, crazy. Yeah. Don't recommend it. And that was like, Shipping you know, was it was in the air. But you can, like, get used to that, right? He knew that I guess. That's a weird a deodorant. That'd be a badass, like, incense, though. Seen many seas like, like, uh... Like, mild to the extra spicy pepper spray incense. Had been <laughs> Only for the hardcore. Right, like, I don't, you know... These doubts preyed upon his mind and made him unhappy. He thought that perhaps <laughs> he ought to have her thoroughly overhauled and refitted. Even though this should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, Shit, where does Caroline live? I need to sell her a pumpkin. Melancholy reflections. Hey, what are you, what are you gonna be for Halloween? She had gone safely through so many Who, me? Yeah. And weathered so many I don't know. I was, I was thinking of maybe being that, uh, I suppose she would not come that, um, from this trip you know that Halloween video that always comes up where it's like that guy in the black unitard and he's got a pumpkin head and he's doing that weird dance? Yeah. Like, I thought about being that guy. That's pretty good. You know? Go as like a meme. I want to go out as, 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 uh, as Jake Kaufman. As Jake Kaufman? Yeah. It's a pretty specific Halloween costume. I mean, I, you know, I've gone, I've, I was, I was, uh, I, I was, uh, what's the guy's name? The Double Fine Dude? What's that guy's name? Uh, Cliff Blazinski? Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Good try. <laughs> I should have just gone with like that shit. Um, Surely this, that yeah. he's verily uh, his family. Steve Harvey? No. <laughs> That'd be a great uh, Halloween costume. Steve Harvey? Yeah. Just like some weird, like, they'd be like, are you the mask? Doesn't that dude dress <laughs> like he's like <laughs> Jim Carrey in the mask? But by stifling his doubts... <laughs> And although in the end he may have felt so sure about it that he could not think otherwise, yet inasmuch as he had knowingly and if I ever meet Steve Harvey, that's what I'm going to ask him. Mind, he must be held responsible for what? It. Like, why do you dress like <laughs> William K. Clay, 1974? <laughs> why do you dress like Jim Carrey in the mask? Why do white people love Wayne Brady? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, Chappelle show. I have no idea. 
I don't know if there's like an order to this, you know. Get the small one. Right. Do well, I want to... Do you want the big one, then the small one? Or do you want the two big ones? It seems like I can't go like a certain distance away from the origin. Unless I go get the stuff. It's like Snake. Maybe. Oh damn, look at all these grapes. My grapes. Don't eat the grape. Just, uh... Like, maybe they can only be consumed from a certain side. Right? I feel like it's actually redu like significantly reducing my, my, the length of my, of my rope here. To go through them? Yeah. And like, if that's true, then this doesn't make any sense. Right? And like, am I being blocked? Or is it a, a function of how long this thing is? I don't know. What if the goal is to use exactly the amount of distance that you're allowed? I don't know. You can go as Jake Hoffman, but you have to do the orange hair thing he did a few years back. Oh, where like he had the cat ears and all of that stuff, but like some game thing we played a show at. I just wanted to dress like him today, like just have like, you know, sport gear on, like like biker pants and like under <laughs> armor, like ride like jersey. a weird scooter. Yeah, dude. But like, then you'd have to make sure you're somewhere where they just think you were sporty. Oh well, yeah, but I you know, I don't. My last year's costume didn't work out. Okay. What like, was I last it was year's clever. costume? Last year I went as Doctor King. Okay. As who? Dr. King. Like, like, uh, Martin Luther? Yeah. Well, sort of. So, like, I had a doctor coat and a crown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had a Martin t-shirt. <laughs> Martin! And so, obviously, I had a lot of explaining to do. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! But you know, <laughs> all right. I respect that. Uh, back when he was at way forward, he had bright orange hair, and if you haven't seen it, I recommend everyone check out the pictures. It's glorious. That that is a that is a Jake that that is the Jake that I do not know. That's a Jake that I've only heard about in Legends, uh, from the Hidden Temple. When Jake was a legendary Pokemon. Yeah, when he was like hanging with Zapdos. It was like Zapdos, Articuno, and Jake. Because he's got the orange hair. I right, speaking of orange. When Team Rocket tried to recruit him. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say Waypoint? I don't know. Waypoint is like a thing that I wish this game had. But it kind of automatically saves your location. Where is... Where does he go? Man, this, so this, this woman wants to buy a pumpkin, but I can't find her. Do you have like all these pumpkins on you though? Like, well, no, I just have the one. Okay. Because she only wanted to buy one. It's not like it's not the kind of game where you can you know you can show up with like a bunch of pumpkins and like hard sell her. Be like, Look. hey, so you know if you buy five, it's only four dollars. <laughs> Look, lady. I just I but I do like the, I do like taking those awkward moments like you know seriously right, where like, you can you can maybe say. Oh, that's right. I need to fix this. Well, I ha you know, I, you have a pumpkin under your arm and you're trying to wander around and find this woman. You're like, you know, uh... Do you want to see a video of Jake with orange hair? Because it has been retrieved by Phil over here. Who, me? Oh yeah, let's, let's, let's see it. Let's check it out. It was back when he was fat too, right? Yeah. Fat Jake? Half genie hero. This wasn't that long ago. Shantae used to look like this. Then she used to look like that. Then she was. She, she looked like, like Gendy Tarkovsky. You know, they say if you have 10,000 Shantae. Hey guys, what's up? This is Jake Kaufman. Some of you may know me as Vert. I'm the staff composer here at WayForward. Cool. Um, and I've worked on the Mighty series. I've worked on Double Dragon Neon. He does look uh, the same. Just did Duck yeah, he's like, he just looks fatter. And, yeah. Uh, now we're working on Shantae. Hey, hey I know that studio. Wow. Like, that looks like Mint Potion Studio. How playful they are. 
uh, there's a lot of wit involved in you know both the, the character dialogue and even the animations themselves are really witty and snappy. It just feels like a fun a fun game to play, um, and you really get attached to the characters. So I I try to do stuff in the musical themes that captures that sort of playfulness, um, that that sense of fun where you're adventuring but you're also whipping people with your hair and it's like there's crazy NPCs all Bad over Jake the place doing means stuff. means there's hope for everyone. So, I guess the over the overwhelming drive that I have in the music and sound. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. He just like he buckled down one day. He was like, "This is it." Hey, look, it's Nugget. I still want. Oh yeah, Fat uh, Nugget. (laughs) Remember when Nugget was all fat? (laughs) (laughs) He did it in like I think a year or two. Lost something like Jake. Yeah. Oh well, I think no, because when I met him, he was already thin. Okay. Like memory and stuff like that. I don't even have to worry about that now because it's on being that it's on these consoles. I can make full studio production music. Uh-huh. If you've heard anything from the Mighty Switch Force series, you know that I, I love to do that stuff, the big orchestra and dance beats and stuff. I try to make it um, sort of like, you know, dance music. With it's that, crazy, that like the mannerisms game. are the same. Mixing in some, like, well, he is the same stuff. person. He's just not as fat. Um, True. So it's not like can, it's not like you lose like twenty pounds and like um, also your mannerisms. Crazy dollars. Well, you know, um, you know. I can actually hire live musicians to play, say, you know, a violin section or an oud or all kinds of different like, you know, I- interesting instruments that that fit the the setting of the game instead of having to synthesize everything myself. So we have a lot more uh, we have a lot more freedom to make a, a really high quality soundtrack with remixes and all kinds of crazy stuff on it. All right, well, anyone who's played WayForward games in the past couple of years knows that we're really big on doing uh, vocal Robert tracks in our, in our games. Um, oh, in the reflection? Uh, yeah. Double Dragon Neon, we had a whole bunch of vocal stuff. Uh, and Christina V. Crash Everyone's got really cool, trail, like, nicknames. Stuff. And, of course, Switch Force oh, 2 has... No, those uh, are their nicknames, yeah. So, um, <laughs> but you mean, like, their first name with the, their, <laughs> their last <laughs> initial? The best yeah. In the world. She is so cool because she's so versatile. She can, she can be any, any character in the song. You know, if I wanted to sound, you know, chibi anime stuff, she can totally do that. Or if I want this real belting, you know, rock riff, she can she can totally uh, assume any style. Um, and it's just fun to work with her because she's so she's so happy and you know we have a great time in the studio. It's it's uh it's really amazing to work with live talent. But when you find somebody who's your friend as well, it's it's just going in there is it's the most fun you can have uh, at work. As many of you may know, uh, WayForward is really big about releasing soundtracks. We love we love to get the music out there, um, separate from the game, so that you can bump it in your car or whatever. How's this video? Um, and that's going to be no different here. Um, but if you guys support did, us, when did Kickstarter? You're was this like the first Shantae? Oh, this is like, this like for the Kickstarter for Half Genie Hero. It's going to be exclusive to backers, um, and uh, there's going to be extra songs and extra remixes and behind the scenes stuff. Um, I'm really going to go all out to say, you know, thank you to you guys for supporting us. Um, and I really, I really want to get you guys excited about, about the soundtrack. You know, as it's coming together, I'm going to okay, release okay. stuff to you and, you know, show you sneak previews of things, maybe even some other Game's pretty good. Um, I'm playing it a bit. We might even try to do yeah. some, uh, yeah. some live streaming so you can actually see me working on the music as it's coming together. Which is funny because it's just me going, uh, for like two hours. And then I mash the keys and like weird stuff comes out. So it should be really Look at that carpet. I'm really, really, really excited about this game. You probably can't tell that I'm excited, but I'm really excited about this game. And I love you guys, and thank you so much for supporting us. This is the most fun I have working on anything. I love my job, and I'm going to do everything I can to make something that you guys can super bump uh, in your cars and, and just really rock out to. Um, I hope, I hope nice. every bit of enthusiasm that I have for this carries on to you guys, and you're really excited about the game, because I'm not Show me your remix. this is over. So. Please. Yeah, let's have fun together, guys. Thanks so much. All right. All right. Dance with it's the remix. Shantae. If he had videos of original Shantae Jake, I don't think that there were cameras back then. <laughs> I could be wrong. <clears throat> um, da, 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 da. Honestly, though, good dude. He does, he does his darn thing. What the hell? So the OST is pretty good. Yeah. Show me your remix, Bill. Jake, you got taller. Huh? It's easier to remember than trying to pronounce remember how to pronounce your your username. I'm not lazy. I'm just being boned. Where ah Huh. Oh. <laughs> Bad.
bastards. This is like hey, one of those things man. where I'm like, I'm there. It's one of those quests where they're like, oh, give this guy like 15 widgets. I'm like, cool, I've got a billion widgets. And then it's like, nope, you got to go dig them up. You have to make fresh widgets. You can't give them ones that are pre existing. What? I think. I do want to hear it. If I'm sure. Oh, we need some music for this game. Let's do it. You know, today... I, I shouldn't joke about that. Live? This is nice. Got good touches. I don't actually know the original song, but this is pretty good. It's like the market theme. really well. Now I walk back to the sword party and everybody has an accent. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's weird about that? I don't <laughs> oh, this garbage is so heavy. And they ask me to bring it back from the outside. Tired. You're mute. You're blind. And I will figure out how to solve these puzzles eventually. Don't rush me, I'm shy. On Twitch TV. La la la. interesting how like the overtones of the piano kind of sound like there's a string backing to it like sometimes the nice nice sound uh, I mean I guess that makes sense right because the piano has strings inside of it yeah Weird, I feel like I'm never gonna be able to get out of this section of the map. <laughs> Gotta believe that I can find my way back. I found this way. Ah. Tell me about your mastering process. I didn't know until 20 seconds ago that you were a musician, Bill. Good work. Quite relaxed. Yeah, that was a good, uh... Good piece of music. 
Do you ever just want to, like, run a public radio station? Sometimes, yeah. I feel like if I were on the radio, I would definitely want to be on NPR. I wouldn't want to be on one of those like, hey, hey, good morning, Ben. It's it's time for Angry Crow and the Urchin in the morning. Oh, oh, oh. Some weird wacky sound effects. Yeah. Oh. So did you hear uh, Kim Kardashian is back in the news again? Oh, really um, now, is she? Kim K, you know, hey, with whoa. the big old badonka doll. You know what I'm saying, guys, right? <laughs> huh? Am I right? <laughs> but seriously. But seriously, guys. What happened? That's a serious butt. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> oh, man. like I fucking oh god, <laughs> I hate humans so much. I was visited by Team Ad too. That's I all right. Hope, I hope they they all die. You it know, will, like eventually, man. it's guaranteed. You know that a hundred percent of people who have lived will die, have have or will die. Yeah, it's true. Thank God. Seriously, can you imagine if there are immortals kicking around, like not telling anybody how they're doing it? Immortal assholes? Yeah. I mean, how do you be immortal and not an asshole? Answer me that. I don't know. Oh, there's... Wait, is that Caroline? Caroline, come back. What? She's asking me if her daughter plays too many video games. Um... All right. I don't know. You know, maybe instead of, like, a, instead of like a morning radio show, you should have, like, a morning advice. Like, you know, go back to sleep. Or, you know, advice. get up and, and exercise. Do a little, little exercise, you know? There you go. Start your day right. Wait, this is not how I walk through this maze. How am I supposed to remember how I walk through this maze? You know? Remember all to take need, care of yourself. Drink drink a lot of water. It's the advice of the morning. It's, it's, it's. Alright, so all you need now is some direct. You need... You need some, I, I think it's so you, you go, go up, left. you go left, you go left, you go right, you go left, you go right, wait, no, wait, you go right, you go left, you go left, you go right, you go left, you go left. I think that's the section that I'm in right now, which means that I went this way. Oh, come on now. Bonk. T-Mad is, 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 a, is a top dog. Uh, What's T-Mad? T-Mad is one of the moderators on our channel here. Um, there we go. We did it, baby. Um, very, very talented musician. Got got sound design down, synthesizer down. Synthesizer. The synthesizer. Uh, very good. He's uh quick. I think he worked at a music museum or did for a while. Music museum. Some kind of synthesizer installation or something like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think this is the case. Um, but has a few synthesizers. I don't know. Just all around good. Like has a has a mine. It's part of a Minecraft community that's like pretty on point. You know. Oh, dude, I love Minecraft. Minecrafts are good. It's it's just a good, just a good, good dude. Talented dude. Very, very, very good. Goody, goody gum drop. I got nothing but good things to say about anybody who watches this stream because. I can't believe that you actually do it. No, we are good. We try. No, we try. We try. We kick. We kick. Do, 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 do. What's that? What's the next stream? What's the coming next up? What is the next stream? It should be. Let me check the. Let me check the schedule on, on Discord. Who is it? Uh, it looks like it's. Uh, it's coming up. Hey, I got a message just from Tomaki. What Tomaki say? One orange boy. Coming See, like right you guys up. are terrible. Announcements and schedule. So Wednesday, five to seven, at the show called Paradise. Paradise. Oh yeah, who? Uh, who's? 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 Uh, uh this guy. Oh hey, dude. Steve Atha. Oh, Paradise, huh? And uh, yes, it is. We're witnessing we're, some. We're witnessing all the things. 
we're just we're just witnessing it right now um pretty good we just walked in the door dagnab internet spotting out um making you lose the stream well i'm glad that it's uh, not us dropping though that might sometimes that that happens it happens less frequently these days i wonder wonder how that um was there a firmware happened? update or something I don't, there is a Windows update on the TriCaster that I have not applied, <clears throat> but it's only over the last couple of days. And you know, who knows, like, you know, fixing it could end up breaking it, you know? Technology, that doesn't make any sense at all, but, you know. Well, you know, just don't dream it's over. Right. And you'll still have your teeth. Look at that high dynamic range, that's cute. Alright. Let's go to the white zone. We got time. Ravi has fixed everything without telling. That would be so cool. That that never happened. Yeah, Robbie. If Robbie does something, he'll tell you all about it. But, well, actually, yesterday he fixed the 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 preview monitor thing. Oh yeah. I don't know how. I don't know how it was broken. Even it just it it would, it just it, it just, just stopped working. I I mean, it, yeah, it just didn't it just didn't do its job. Oh Jesus, what was that? That's the air conditioner. Activating. Oh, son of a bitch! Did I? I died. God damn it! So, like, is it, it? So, if you die, do you lose all your pumpkins? No, you lose like a bunch of gear, and you lose uh, you lose like nine floors of the cave. What? Yeah. Do you get like? What if you have to like recover? I lost seven hundred gold and ten levels of the mine. Oh, I only lost two items, so that's good. So, like, what if you wake up in the hospital in Stardew Valley? And like, you're you've been in the hospital for like a couple of like weeks or whatever, and your stuff's like overgrown and dirty. Oh well, there's no there's no hospital. What? I mean, there's like a doctor's office you can go to, but okay, there's no like hospital per se. Give me to a hospital. Right Give me to a now. hospital right now. It's unplugged. Robbie plugs it back in. Yeah, he has a way about it. He has a way about plugging stuff back in. He's actually due back in any moment. So, that might be problematic. We'll see. Hopefully he's not too pressed for time. And I hope he had a good time out there on the road. The road tripping. Road trip with Jake? Yeah, man. Hope they didn't hit too many toll booths, am I right? <laughs> Straight up. Not nay true or said. Have you, have you subjected the stream to uh, trip.swf? I don't know. I'll I'll stick Stream, to you. are you familiar with trip.swf? Anybody I'll out there? I'll I'll stick to you, yeah. Tell me about it. If you are, congratulations. Just, uh, put up your left hand in the appropriate position. Uh, turning it on and off again is the best way to fix anything. I agree with this. I had that issue with Ableton yesterday and I still haven't reset this computer because I'm kinda stupid. Also, it's not that pressing, really. I mean, whatever. It's like some software. Whoa, look. The Whoa, shadow. danger. Danger, stranger, danger. Oh, look. It's like a clue. It's like, it's a puzzle, right? But I need to stand. I need to observe. I need to witness it. <laughs> Sorry, I can't, <laughs> I can't not say that. I need to witness the structure in such a way that I may, that I may pass my, my, my imaginary finger through it. Unless it's a machine that keeping someone alive. Um, I mean, it depends also on your definition of fix. Like, if turning the machine off and back on again is is how you fix that situation. Like, I don't want to go 100% Kevorkian on you, but like, you know, there's definitely a... Uh, hey, that's dark. All right. You use yucca plants or something else, though. Right, Stacy? Then don't turn it off no matter what. Look, personally, if that was the the thing that was keeping me tied to this world was like a, a, a strain. Ooh, let's learn the rules. Alright, so I have one box. Okay, so what is the difference between that and this? Life support. If I, if like, if I, if, if I'm just like a dude in a box, then probably don't, like, uh... You know, let yeah, you me, can you, you can know. cycle power on me a couple times. Yeah, you know. just give it a give it a shot. If you're gonna like, if you need my like my my body to like 
produce blood or something like that. Like you feed me like water and like whatever orange juice, and then like you know you like blood farm me. You're That's like cool. a blood factory, right? <laughs> but like other than that, like you know, if I'm not if not I'm not a blood factory, then like you know, walk on by. Did you walk on by? I fixed my dying grandpa by turning him off and then back on again. Excuse me? Uh, I'm, you know, I'm not even mad at you, Tomaki. You, you know, you fix your dying grandpa, man. That's, that's not how you solve this problem. Or maybe it is. Right? Like, who's to judge? Okay, so... That thing has three sides. Is it because I had one, two, three turns? I don't know. Do I need four turns? Like this? Three, four. Oh, man. No. You know who you should have on your stream? Uh, Lane Pavogi. No, I was going to say Arden. That would be amazing. She could do little factoids, you know? Did you know... The witness. Did doesn't. you know? In the witness, you can witness almost eight, over eight acts of witnessing. <laughs> over eight, almost eight. <laughs> like what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little girl. Okay, what is it? What is true about these two operations? Oh, I see. There's what? a space that encloses this shape. There's the square, there's two squares, oh, there I are see. three squares. Yeah. yeah. So I need a space that encloses that shape. Up, or something something like that. So maybe like this? That's like the legal... Hey! Hey, I witness, witness me. Oh, yeah. Baby, just witness it. <laughs> Hey, does anybody in chat who has played Stardew Valley know how many uh, how many floors there are in the cave? I feel like it doesn't end, dude. I think it's I think it's no, but there's a quest. Get to the bottom. I don't think it's that kind of game where they would give you a quest. Get to the bottom and then be like, "Haha, there's no bottom." I mean, that's the kind of game like I would make. But okay, okay, okay. I, somebody had to say it. All right. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you got to do the right answer. Is there, are you Randy Newmaning it? <laughs> That's pretty good, right? Um, That's a pretty good Randy there are probably a hundred, a hundred floors. Oh, but I, I got to a hundred and it kept going. I know there's at least a hundred and six. Uh, one foot at a time. Without a doubt, there's a hundred and six at least. <laughs> I say Putin's hat's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Putin yeah. putting his shirt on. Well, you know. Shirt size number nine. <laughs> I'm just going to mine some some rocks and things down here. 120, says Death Doom. Welcome to the show. Oh, man. only 120. Okay. okay. Damn, I was super close, and then I died. Also, do you, do you in chat consider it cheating... To just build, to get a bunch of stone, and then build staircases once you're in the mine. Oh, it's an additive problem. What's an additive problem? Well, like, the way that these shapes are related to each other, right? So, like, there are six total grids to be accounted for. So if I outline that six, then we're good. Oh, now, How is that problem different than this problem, you ask? That's a great question, man. Because it's a different color? Uh, because the relationship might actually be the same. Maybe I'm full of, maybe I'm full of, 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 of uh, doo-doo, Putin. Holy crap. This teaches us the same story. Now, does that mean this, this solution is the same? Is it the same song? It's the song that doesn't end. Holy crap. So, six. I guess we're just gonna count. Starting from the left. 
The seven. Is that everything you own in a box to the left? Yeah. You must not know about me. <laughs> no, you must not know about me. <laughs> oh, you, Jonathan. I probably spelled your name wrong. I showed off too much. So, this is the same, same-ish problem? Uh, you got both of those wrong. Nice. Boot, putting his pants on. One leg at a time. He it makes me want to be a lady. Putting I his hat on. Hat size I have. number it's nine. John Nathan. Nathan Drake? As long as your hips don't lie. That's right. I'm going to spell that guy's name incorrectly. Um, because I didn't Google it, you know? Who, what? I will admit that I'm just like lazy like that. I kind of wrote that ticker on a, on a whim. I didn't even know what game I was going to play. I, I admit complete defeat in that. Wait, what do you, what? I'm trying to figure out this puzzle. What's but thank to you figure for, out? Uh, well, so you need a four and a two? Right. So like this adds up to seven, right? Then I got this two thing and this four thing. So this so is a different six? rule, because there's like, they fit together, right? In there, yeah. And so maybe like, this would fit together, like there's no way to really outline that, I don't uh, think. No, that'd be six, right? Yeah. So it's just, it's like, but wouldn't it, it just like be six on the six? right side? Like this? No, no, no. Oh, maybe. I don't, no, 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 no. No, no, no. The, uh, right? do, do six, uh, like on the left, vertically. Is it because the leftmost thing is where my base is? No. Oh. No, no, no. Uh, oh, you have to connect that thing, huh? Well, Just like, to go to that out thing. The earlier examples, right? All right. Hi. Oh, hey, dude. Good. Are you ready? What'd you call me? What? Uh, yes. Uh, what do you think about it? Do it's beautiful. I know. Um. Do uh. Let's see, so that second one is on top, right? Yeah. And then, wait, go back. Let me see the other ones. So, that one is... That one is outlining so like on all top. Of these are that true, one is right? outlining on top. Because it's six... Six have to be enclosed in that group. Right? I think is what it is. It's about enclosure. Because that's true here, too, right? That's three, yeah. So, I guess so it's just six? You know, there's, I can get six by doing this. Oh. Crap! Oh, okay. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Maybe... Maybe it's... So do six, go like... Go one over, and then go straight up, and then go right at the top. Go straight you know, up? No, no, no. Like yeah, this? go straight up. Yeah, now go right at the top. Mm. No? I think that this way is correct. Um... Oh... No... You bastard. You bastard. Maybe it's like this. I just don't think that dividing them really does anything. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so what do you Oh, no, they should both be enclosed, so right? To the right at the bottom. Okay. Right. And then up two. And then left one. Left one. Up one. And then right? And then two right. That's, that's according to Phil. Oh, they, I think they both have to be on one side of the line, right? Right. So I would maybe go around this whole thing, like this? Like, that uh, makes sense to me, but I feel like I've already tried this. Right? Oh, but that's too many. That's too many. That's six. Oh, no, that is six. But they're not, it's not a shape that you could fit both of them into. Oh, that's a good point. They both got to fit into that, right? That's a, that looks like another rule. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, huh? oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so go one right, two up, one left, go up, right? Now go to the right. Oh, now it's down, down one. one. Ah. There you go. Yeah. You got it. You got it. I am the witness. <laughs> <laughs> nice.
Well done. So hey, you know. we put the we put the wit in witness, That's right? Right. Are you witting this? Are you are you getting this? How's breakfast? Sure, why not? Delicious. I do. I had, I had orange juice. I half a burrito. Yeah. Oh, uh, it was. Yeah. I guess it was a breakfast burrito. I guess go. No, no, no. Go back. Go back. Go back. What? 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 Uh. So go. So we, now we had know the rules. Go up to the top, right? Yeah. So go. Well, cause, oh, because they have to all. And add then up, they right? all have to add up, right? So then uh, go all the way up, right? Then I have to come down. You have to come to all the way down, right? And then up three? No, 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 but you have to enclose that one. So you have to go all the way down at some point, right? Oh, so go. You know what I'm saying? But then I would so you actually to have that, to, yeah, I? so you have to do that, right? And then... And then... Oh, this? no. Uh, like that breaks that rule. No, but that breaks that rule, too. Uh, uh, can, yeah, that one can't be vertical, huh? You can't just do three vertical ones. Oh, well... Oh, I know. So go. Let's see. Come on, come on, chat. You got this. Well, if we go, if I go to the right, I can go under this whole crew, and I can go this way as well to make that shape. But that's not going to add up. Well, but we right. have to have the middle, right? We got to get yeah. That's because oh, that one has to be, to be in there. They all have to be oh, inside, that's right. right? That's annoying. Um, what if we go? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, it's a sticky wicket, man. How do you get that middle one? Because it has to be in there, but it only ha can take up three, right? Right. Unless I focus on the negative space, right? I focus on where it can't be. Uh, and kind of outline that. Right. Oh, there you go. I think that's it. Oh, good job, dude. Yeah. Alright. Nice. Nice. Uh, cool. So, Jurassic Park? or what's Yeah. The oh, dude, the raptors are out. So, um, so when, when the next show comes on, can we go eat, like, soup or something? Yeah, absolutely. Soup or, soup or, or curry? Or, or soup. Why not both? Curry does sound pretty good, though. Some curry? 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 This show's about that, though. Don't you worry. Hurry, curry. Don't you hurry. Worry that well, curry. Jetty Sean, thank you so much for watching this stream. I don't actually know what the uptime is. We might have crossed the two hour mark a long time ago. I could be wrong. I don't know. I mean, it's not like we're getting paid by the hour. That's true. Or paid. That's true. But kind of. Well, 15 minutes. You know, we need time to set up our next stream. I don't know if they need help. I haven't heard any express help. Tomiki, tell me about soup. Then do you like curry? Yeah. I'm feeling curry is a great choice. Is curry a soup? I, I, like a stew, right? Like a, does that count? Yeah, what's the actual, like, you know, the actual, uh... I always thought that soup was more of like a water thing. Is know? it? Does it just have to do with thickness? But what about like cream of potato soup or something, you know? Or like a chatter, right? Yeah, that's is almost like a, a curry, right? I mean, I think like a curry, a it has milk. to have, like, spices, right? Like, a mixture of spices. Well, I think curry actually has to have curry. Like, there's, well, like, no, a, that's, like, a plant. Isn't curry just, like, oh, I thought curry was just, like, the, what the, was the mixture of, like, certain spices, you no, know? No, there's, like, a curry. Is there a curry plant? plant? Yeah. There's a, there's a curry ingredient. You put stuff with your curry, but, like, curry is, like, you know, it's, like, coriander or whatever. Like it's not, oh, it it's is? It's not coriander, but, like, there's, you know what I'm it's saying? It's coriander. There is a cori... There is a Get curry. it? It's coriander. Coriander. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. More like coriander. 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 I'm looking for the answers in the sky and in the sea. And I'm also looking for ants is next to the sea. Oh. Crab. 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 Yeah, curry might be kind of a good dinner, you know? I'm feeling it. 
you know? It's a korma, you know? That's not exactly curry. Curry or pizza? Pizza? Yeah. All right. Or curry. Nah, it's, no, I don't know. Let's do curry. I haven't had the curry in this in this hood. May All as well right. find out, right? I definitely want to try a place that I haven't tried. If I keep going to the same Indian place, they're going to like... Is there another Indian place? Yeah, there are like three. Oh, wow. Right. We're multicultural up in here. Curry is a stir fry with curry pepper and put on rice. So curry is like a type of pepper, I guess, what we're, what we're learning. Oh, okay. It's a type of pepper. Yeah. I'm feeling it was some sort of... I mean, it'd be cool if curry was some strange animal that nobody talked about because it's too delicious. Right? It's a, And it's like, and like, in order to make curry, you have to like, it causes <laughs> immense suffering to the animal. <laughs> right. it's, the, it's not actually the animal that you want. You have to like get its tears. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like you have to just make it really depressed right oh, it's they, terrible <laughs> it's, it's like a really it's like a chocobo like it's just like or like a some kind of other like it, like video game animal that you just have to whip you know oh man you have to murder its family in front of it That's, the that's thing horrible. That we say. <laughs> oh, cool. Welcome back. It's about that time. Huh? The witness. We're witnessing. The witness. We're witnessing the witness. The game about looking at stuff. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. Yeah. You need to witness. See? <laughs> 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 Sounds like Jake is not a big Jonathan Blow fan. Hey. <laughs> is there a way to force a person to Like I said, you know, two types of people. Those who understand binary and those who don't. No. What is this woman reaching toward? Maybe the guy, like, who is reaching for the glass? I'm not sure. Those who enjoy Jonathan Blow games and those who don't. I think I should go, maybe, uh, you know, to close our, to close our tour. Or this, this, of this Witness Island? Version. Yeah, this episode of Witness Island has gone pretty well, you know. We found some puzzles, we solved some puzzles, we witnessed some stuff. Did a lot of witnessing today. We wiggled, we waggled. All the live long Do day. you think the, the sequel to this will be like the prosecution or something? Or like... Or the defendant? The, the subject? Like, the object? All right, I made it to floor 100 again. Is that particularly difficult? Like, what? The the to combat your way all the way to the bottom. No, the it's just because like, uh, I don't, I just don't pay attention to my life meter. Okay, okay. And then all of a sudden I die. I'm just you know, because I'm like it's a farming game. I shouldn't have to pay attention to things like that, but you know, clearly you're supposed to. So you know, I think. Out this of all good, the things to end on, actually. I witnessed, Ben. Yeah. Uh, I think the best thing that we witnessed today is friendship. You know? That was the most I powerful thing. Things. We witnessed a lot of treasures. But I think the most valuable treasure we witnessed was uh, the treasure of friendship. Well, I guess it's time to go. At least that music means it's time to go. I'm not sure where we are. But hopefully this will take us there. Come Wherever on. you go, I hope you witness friendship. How do I get into this?
This portion of this stream is definitely about meditating. It's about what? This portion of this of this stream is meditating. I thank you guys so much for watching. Um, stick around for our next show, Paradise, a bi-weekly exploration into all things tabletop. Um, we're gonna eat some curry. If you want to eat like some curry at home, <laughs> feel free. Get you some curry peppers and vegetables or something. I don't SNB remember. gold curry. Anyway, it's time to go back into the dream sequence. Um, and we will uh, witness you again sometime <laughs> soon. <laughs> on that post. Apparently, 